going to show you guys my homemade groomer. We'll start out at the quad here. Uh, I just made a little homemade switch that goes up and down. Um, it plugs into the cigarette lighter. If you got a Honda, you can just plug it in the cigarette lighter. That way I can take this off in the summer when I don't need it. And it's just hooked on there with a hose clamp. Yeah. Uh, and then what I used to hook up to the groomer, the drag, was just a simple trailer connector. And uh, two of these are just positive and negative to run the, the beacon that I have on, on the drag. And another two are alternate from positive to negative, depending on whether I'm pushing the switch up or down. So this is the most crucial part of the drag here, I think. A lot of people just use uh, cables or chains to uh, hook up to the quad, but and that's fine. But if you want it to plane across moguls the way that the professional drag does, you have to have a system like this where it's solid. Uh, I have the, it's just a regular trailer hitch coupler there um, and this is a electric actuator to lift the front up and down, lift the, the blades up and down. Uh, on my old video last year uh, you would have seen a hand crank here and that's fine too. Last year I built this on a zero dollar budget. With the hand crank I was always having to get off the quad, crank a little bit, get back on. Uh, it was just very annoying. So this year I broke the bank, spent $130 at this, on this, at uh, Princess Auto. If you're from Canada, you know what Princess Auto is. Uh, it makes the job a lot easier as you can adjust the, uh, the drag on the fly. It took about four months to get the basic idea. I started out as just a regular short bed frame, um, then built it up another layer because I found it was uh, twisting over bumps. It took me about two years now to build it. It's uh, made out of seven, well, seven and a half bed frames and uh, I found them mostly in dumpsters and the garbage dump. Again I was on a zero budget here so I just wanted to make something that worked. These are the the cutting edges, the cutting blades here. It all makes the snow go to the center. These two blades. This one brings it back out. Um, then this one kind of just disperses it wherever there's a divot or a hole. If we get back here, this more for the softer, fluffier snow. I lift, I'll lift up the, the cutting blades a little bit. This will catch the fluffy snow and kind of drag it to wherever there's a low spot. This is basically the, the finisher of the, the groomer. And this is made out of two road signs again. You can build the rest of the drag as, better, as good as you want, but without the compactor pan, not going to be very good. Underneath the pan I put a little uh, piece of metal, kind of like this. And that just stops the drag from sliding from side to side. I put a little beacon on here just for fun. It makes it a little, look a little bit more professional. 